Now the push to make Atlanta public schools more secure, safer, just days before 50,000 students head back to class. For the first time, canine officers are now part of the district's security team with hopes of keeping guns out of the classroom. Atlanta News First, Patrick Quinn, live at Midtown High, where students, Patrick, they're not going to be able to miss the changes. There are going to be some new changes this year. School starts just on Tuesday. Sorry if that's bad news for students. But yes, I was able to sit down one on one with the chief of police for Atlanta Public Schools, Ronald Applin, and I talked to him about these changes. He said it's a balance. You don't want schools to feel like a fortress, but he recognizes the realities. Students, you'll see more body scanners, more officers, new canine officers, all to ensure that threats stay out. Back to school in Atlanta this year, students will see stiffer security and the district's biggest concerns, gangs and fights. But we have gangs in Atlanta and some of our kids are in gangs. Um, so that's that's one of the big things and then fights. I sat down with Ronald Applin, the chief of police for Atlanta Public Schools, where last year they had two officers trained to detect gangs. This year, 17. On top of that, more middle and high schools will have body scanners to keep guns from getting into classrooms. But now, for the first time, the district is turning to dogs to help with gun and explosive detection. Meet Aaron, Tom, and Taki, three canine officers who will regularly patrol the perimeter of schools, where Applin said oftentimes people, including students, would stash weapons. The canines will also help with bomb threats, like the one last year at Midtown High School that forced students to evacuate. In this case, it'll, it'll give us a, a head start to try to get things going. If we have a, a bomb threat, we can start doing a search right away. Chief Applin also told me they'll have bullet resistant glass installed at school entrances by 2025. But he said while all of these measures help further secure schools, they cannot do it alone. You know, we're not the only ones responsible for safety, right? It's the community. It's teachers, it's students, everyone's responsible. And we dug into the numbers two years ago before body scanners at Atlanta Public Schools. The district recovered 31 weapons inside schools last year with body scanners. They recovered 12 weapons, so certainly moving in the right directions. They hope these canine officers continue that positive trend. Again, the first day of school for Atlanta Public Schools is Tuesday. Outside Midtown High School in Atlanta, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Thank you, Patrick.